Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of Expert Ironman difficulty. I've had some time to uh, grind behind the scenes. I had to watch a movie and I thought on parallel I can just AFK farm a little bit, which I did. I used mainly the trainings dummy to get uh, the XP for the next levels. Yep, judge me, but the game isn't particularly good in uh, handing out XP. And I figured if I would have grinded from level 8 to level 10, it would have potentially taken me around anywhere between 30 and 40 hours on e equivalent uh, enemies. So I uh, decided to take the short route and use the trainings dummy, which is quite OP. All of our characters are now level 10 and I wanted to run you through just how uh, we uh, have improved. Namri is now uh, running a new sword, Glory, which uh, will deal damage and uh, if she's already engaged in combat, which she typically is, uh, she also gets protection from uh, for one round, which is great, so additional damage reduction. On top of it, protective oil and so on. So. Really not much has changed there. I'm still running that Alazarian heater shield, which is just um, crazily powerful uh, due to its free repost ability. I'm hoping to find an upgrade for that. Unfortunately, you can't upgrade kind of uh, uh, blue shields. That's really a bummer. But I value the uh, repost uh, above anything uh, on the shield so far. So it's really a strong shield. Uh, anyways, as a new skill, I was a bit disappointed with level uh, 10 skills. Again, feedback for the game potentially until level 7, 8. Everything seems to be really well polished. Um, the level 10 skills, uh, not only is it very difficult to get to that uh, level unless you are grinding, uh, but also the skills don't seem to be very polished. You can either have a second weapon, not 100% sure if I like that. Um, I mean, in some cases, yes, maybe, but in most of the cases, not really worth the talent. Uh, you can intervene, but then again, I do have taunt. So intervene allows you to basically uh, switch uh, around with a, another character. A taunt can already do that. So I'm not saying it's a bad skill or anything, but it's not like a fantastic skill and uh, the third one is defensive repost and you will see many of uh, the characters just have the same three skills here um, so now when she disengages instead of taking an attack of opportunity it's 50 50 that she uh, deals one miss Grell is doing the exact same uh, uh, so it's literally the same uh, skills uh, the difference here is uh, we have now upgraded the mace. Mace is still very, very potent. Uh, and we've upgraded the buckler. Uh, you can see we're at uh, rocking 260 armor. The only weak part now is our level 8 blue armor. But good news there. Level 11 is the next uh, upgraded version where rimsteel armor comes into play. And guess who has already pre-crafted all of the armors? Damn right two thumbs into Saiken's direction. It's -a me, Mario. Um, then we got JP Pauly. Uh, for him, I've, uh, we have slightly different uh, talents. Many of the others do have a chance of uh, either uh, taking less damage or dodging AOE and range attacks. I figured that was good. He could have uh, gotten Lone Wolf, but it's very rare that he's outside of five meters from the others. He's really um, sticking with the others, so it's just damage mitigation in a sense and more of the same. We upgraded Splinter to level 11 and he is going to town. Now, Jim is where most of the changes will be coming in. I decided to move away from Harponeer and try out Halibadir. No idea if that's a better or a least good choice. But point being, this here deals 50 points uh, and bleed, which isn't bad. But this here seems to scale incredibly well. Less base damage than the 50 points. But the moment that I hit two targets, um, it'll deal um, another uh, 54. 
and for every additional target even more i haven't tried it out but imagine four targets being hit with that and then um, essentially him striking for 220 points of damage and on top of it everybody is knocked back which is um, an ability that i actually value quite a bit because it can free up our front line with frontline free up we can re-engage with re-engages we're uh, getting more valor so there are a couple of like um, indirect uh, advantages and i gave him the back brace uh, so twi uh, knock, uh, knock back twice as far i literally haven't tested that out yet so we're going to see how great this is going to be we gave him unstoppable which is fun because he can now pass through enemies and i imagine he can just like literally walk through the enemy um, uh, front line then give everybody like that massive clap on uh, on their cheeks and uh, then move back into line uh, we had the option for alacrity as well but i figured i like that unstoppable a little bit better brutality next to an ally makes sense i wasn't 100 percent sure uh, with uh, whether or not i wanted um, preparedness but uh, the damage buff and uh, the fury definitely seems good and the other options here is uh, was a damage increase for each bonus applied to uh, to him but we're not stacking bonuses that much uh, last push applies uh, this and other units rage but mm, yeah um, I mean, uh, the, most of our characters already get rage themselves. And then when this unit kills an enemy engaged in combat uh, with an ally, the, this uni, uh, unit gains uh, the dodge ability. That might not be too bad, but I figured uh, we already have repost and uh, we do have uh, the, um, uh, the ability to stay in the second line. So I'm not 100% sure if that would have been the better choice. Just want to let you know he is now going to whirlwind so essentially jp paulie and jim are very similar jp is drawing them close uh, jim is pushing them away and maybe we can even like work together jp going in uh, hitting everyone and hitting them again and then moves out uh, jim then moving in slashing everybody around so both of them aoe melee uh, support um anders uh, got a new dagger that was the dagger out of the tome, uh, tomb that we have raided um, the last time which is great uh, that dagger uh, has a hundred percent damage increase if no ally is within four meters so he really uh, excels now in targeting the back line going in and just um, destroying them um, the poison dagger wasn't bad either but we weren't just using a poison build so naturally um, i uh, changed that up uh, for enders uh, we have used the same unstoppable so he can now slip through the ranks uh, slide into the enemy's dms uh, give them an inappropriate message and then kill them afterwards so he's uh, he's uh, a nice character i actually like him still has um, additional critical damage and with that uh, behadid's uh, chris i think we are well equipped um diddy g interesting development here uh, we could have either gotten anticipation which means if they are engaged there's a 50 percent chance that they are actually not engaged and instead take and take of opportunity that was meh because how often are they really engaged i feel my position game is pretty much on on spot so i rather gave him lone wolf which means if he goes out of five meter distance which he very much can um, i could uh, work with it uh, and get more damage he has still that um, uh, line bow that um, aoe line bow which i think is is a decent uh, upgrade uh, to be entirely uh, is a decent bow to be entirely honest um, as long as you can draw lines uh, he, we can hit and with critical hits mind you he's now at 60 percent critical hit chance with critical hits uh, the enemies are bleeding once they're bleeding more damage from enders uh, senders so sort of makes sense the combination is still there which was also one of the reasons why i moved out of harpenier because uh, i could already get bleeding here 
And then finally Zoe, same lone wolf, mainly because I haven't really seen the advantage of any of the others. Yeah, I could maybe get in two bows and then she rotates two different bows. Mm, yeah, not sure if that's really um, uh, necessary. Uh, I think if she can move far enough away, take a couple of shots, uh, get a 10% damage bonus, uh, that would be fine. Mind you, she's uh, still rocking the Valorous support, so she actually benefits from staying next to uh, uh, to allies, which is a bit uh, controversial, uh, controversial with Lone Wolf, but I think I can often enough move away. Now, last uh, update, we have the pairing weapons, Harun's Partisan, uh, which uh, creates the mark of Harun. And if you then follow up with Zoe's bow, which is not a shot, uh, you can get two Valor points and vice versa if uh, Zoe hits uh, someone um, and then um, Jim hits, uh, they also get two Valor points. So I will need to toy a little bit with uh, both of them in order to get more Valor points. Um, what I am unclear of is whether or not the controlled whirlwind will also trigger that mark of uh, Narciss. If it does, uh, mar yeah, mark of um, uh, Narciss. If it does, that's great. Um, or mark of Haroon, sorry. If it triggers the mark. Um, if it does, it's great because uh, then we would have uh, multiple applications per round. If it doesn't, then that's fine as well. The one person who fell a bit behind uh, was Roby, but since we can uh, get a new bear, um, and since Roby doesn't have like the major stats, and since he's also the only one with kind of a bit of a negative reputation here with the gang, um, uh, we might uh, exchange him in the next uh, region. And yeah, really that's uh, all there is uh, to say. Uh, we've upgraded mainly in anticipation of finishing this year and once this is finished we're going to go into the last region with it which is Drombach um, and I sincerely hope that we aren't over leveled now I figured so far we were kind of following uh, the game flow uh, I would guess Drombach is uh, also level 10 ish so we're not fully over um, over leveled and yeah, I at least want to show kind of the level 12 uh, uh, skills in this playthrough. So I'm quite committed to go all the way until the very end game. Now we do have a different uh, story. Uh, we now need to do, uh, solve uh, the cryptic, um, uh, the uh, cryptic quest, and that's exactly where today's uh, episode will start with a little bit of. Uh, quest and then um, a broker's palace uh, action and uh, hopefully I will be able to to finally advance that a little bit further all right so let's um, start exploring this church a little bit more so we got that ornate key and I really want to know what's in the cellar down below Oh, look at you. Betcha, leader of the People Fellowship. Welcome to the People's Fellowship, mercenaries. It's always a pleasure to meet new members and greet our supporters. We created the People's Fellowship to unite and defend the people against the brokers who get rich at their expense while hoarding wealth and trade. Naturally, the Brokers' Council tries to clamp down on us Fearing the prospect of their privileges and fortunes being undermined, they plan to execute one of our own, to make an example. We are in desperate need of people like you, to rescue our friend and bring him back. Your okay. brother is being held in jail and watched at all hours of the day by brothers hired specifically for this task. You will have to defeat them and bring our friend back here. Talk to our people around here. They'll gladly join you and give their lives for Jorvan's freedom. Oh, really? Jorvan is like a brother to me. Should you have need of my bow, I'll follow you. No one around here is mourning the loss of Willa. So we got an archer that is willing to die.
Hello there, friend. I may just be a butcher, but I know how to fight. We've set fire to Willa's Manor. So these are our two expandables. Oh, look at that. Wanted. We can sleep off wanted here. Okay, in interesting area. I wasn't expecting a resistance in the cellar. Have you come to worship in the light of the eye? This prayer requires a deep calm. You oh, we get an ornate key. Okay, cool. Well, the prayer... People can't find work here. That we learned just prayer. gave us another ornate key. I'm pretty sure we're going to... Uh, be needing one later down the road. Anyways, so with that, we are equipped to free uh, that person, the prisoner, and shortly afterwards, hopefully, we can uh, finish the quest. This is one of the most uh, dragging out areas that I've seen so far because the main quest isn't straightforward and maybe it's just me not understanding the clues too much but look at that I mean there are just a lot of clues might I interest you Good, time to fight uh, the Elizarians. I'm trying to bypass the bandits here. Now we're not going to negotiate that. I'll just quickly do the fight. Good, quick and easy. We didn't even take damage. The reason why I'm cutting out those uh, prolonged engagements is, as always, on uh, the city maps, it just takes a while to go through all of them. Good. I would like to have uh, bonus valor points. Matter of fact, times two. And critical strike chance increased. And I'll do that real quick as well. Okay, fantastic. They brought us some wolf sausages. So off we go to the actual fight that I wanted to show you. Um, we are looking for XP and more loot. We're pretty much okay on influence at this point in the game. The League. You cannot recruit this prisoner. He is only here to await. Time for us to go through the motions and uh, fight the Elizarians. Good, very good. Um, so we got quite a full map actually. And I have to wonder Um, how do we do? How do we go about that? I think for starters Can we hit all four? No, three max.
which is fine in which case we're taking these uh, three here moves up peace bearer removes uh, his shield let's see uh, that doesn't trigger okay interesting so that triggers new uh, new fortification and that oh okay I see I can just engage disengage engage disengage and we're okay on the valor points so that's not too bad wow almost killed that uh, peace bearer Um, you know what? I'll suck them all in. That's one hit. Two hits. Oh my god. Oh lord. Sweet Jesus have mercy. What is this called? Uh, this should... This should be forbidden. All right, best friend bonus. Fantastic. Moving up to here. I'll put a mark on this guy and then send him uh, back to his friend which easily could be a double kill um, let me think how far can we actually move? Yeah, not far enough. So this is a good start here. And we will see whether or not this also triggers the mark. It actually did. Might as well get Fury for the next time. And unfortunately we can't move any further. One, two, three, four. Right here is, I think, where the money shot is at. There we go. Nice one. I wasn't expecting him to be able to move that far, elsewise of course I wouldn't have done what I've done. Let's start with the obvious. That, disengage, nope, didn't work. Re-engage. Disengage, and this time with a nice little repost. Kill. into sprint oh wow our tanks are dealing a lot of damage with that new ability maybe I haven't given it enough consideration but that engage disengage that's a massive damage boost
Moves up. Kills this guy straight out. Holy. Oh, wow. Three hundred seventy points of damage. What is going on? Oh yeah, we have galvanizing. Okay, well, yeah, I think we weren't even in the need uh, for that uh, for that support. Peace bound uh, round of damage dealt by this unit increased by an amount equal to half of the guard. Damage dealt by this unit is increased by an amount equal to half of their guard. Hmm. That's actually not too bad. If you factor in... Hmm. Let me think about that. Guard is 60, so every single strike is plus 30, right? Right. Um, we got more armor, which per se is good, and then this would be plus 30, right? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's the wrong shield. Uh, where do we have it? Comforting shield. Damage dealt by this unit is increased by an amount to, uh, equal to half of their guard, which is about 30 points of damage, 29 to be precise. Hmm. That actually might be a really good shield. If we could get a little bit better version of it, it could be an awesome shield. Bring me to bed, Jay. She'll be out. Okay, we're of course wanted. Luckily, the guards here seem to be distracted by whatever else. Okay, and Might I interest you we now in need to bring uh, bring first? the guy back. Can sell all of the blue stuff. Interesting fight. Interesting fight. We are going to get rid of our three uh, guests, escorts. But first, let's bring them into the city. Yeah, I wouldn't want to run into a full-fledged uh, combat here inside of the city with uh, so many uh, with so many people. I think the enemies. Um, number scale based on your party size as well and with so many escort that uh, i assume well, that means also more enemies also we're of course wanted as always Perfect timing, by the way, because we can sleep inside of the church and get the wanted level down. So, what are the new infos? For the eye's sake, please tell me Jorvan is with you. There you go. What a relief to have Jorvan back safe and sound. Thank you so much. The League won't forget what you did. 
If you ever need shelter, or are wanted by the guard, you can make use of our straw mattress. Jorvan was captured while freeing slaves from the Hovendorp mine. That's where we all were on the night of Willa's death. Okay, so they were not responsible. I sure am glad we made it out alive. Thank you. I'm surprised you brought me back alive. <laughs> okay. They were completely accepting their fate. You're no longer wanted. That's good. Let's sleep everything off. Fantastic. Time to do that and that and a little bit of sausage and that. Cool. Well, we're going to test out whether or not this uh, Peace uh, Bearers Roundel is going to work. I noticed that the tanks towards the end game are actually with their uh, attacks of opportunity and their many, many, many skills that they can use are starting to deal some damage. So that is working surprisingly I'm well. Going to accuse me again. Yeah, we're going to accuse you again. The room is packed. Many locals have come to attend uh, the proceedings. You were accused of murdering our... The mercenaries who accuse you claim to have evidence... Of if, by the eye's grace, they manage to prove this. They will... And now, having reviewed the rules of this court... All right, let's start. Firstly, mercenaries, let's... In all likelihood, Willa Old Hovendorp was killed in the more affluent part of our city. No, he's not the, the one who dealt the blue. Silence! Mercenaries Where had he been? At the Broker's Where Palace, we know that. Here in the palace along... So, please explain to this council how the man you're accusing was So, it wasn't the People's Fellowship. It wasn't mercenaries we tested that. Bandits couldn't have been it, so it must be the Rooks. I see the legitimacy of your claim, mercenaries. While it would be possible for a large group of these scoundrels to hire them to assassinate the and kill the Broker... Or is the leader, either the way. Silent every time on that list. Thank you, broker. Mercenaries. Now, I would like to know why he would have wanted our esteemed colleague dead. Why her, and not another member of this council? Uh, we have seen in the mine that uh, there were, were Elizarian guards, so I wonder if it could be Alazar. Or if uh, he just wanted uh, revenge. Last time we used revenge and it wasn't good enough. Let's uh, use Alizar. Uh, the council does not... So it is time to put an end to it. As the answers given by the mercenaries during these proceedings... The accused can walk away a free man. As... I'm pretty sure it's him. I mean, it's just a matter of finding the right combination. Holy... This is proving to be more difficult than I would have estimated. Maybe it was revenge. We heard about that. Someone is attacking Hovendor's manor. Okay. Maybe this will give us more uh, insight. Them escape mercenaries these men are murderers okay it was the rooks which tells me we are right on the rooks but the reasoning is the wrong one it maybe has not been alazar maybe it has been something else it's a bit annoying that uh, that it is so difficult to puzzle together maybe it's just me being ultra bad with clues but It's a bit of a shame that it takes so long. Th 
three there, four there. I, I would say we're just going to do that. Um, There we go. That's what I was looking for. Charges in and weakens him. Easy. Wow, they are dealing a lot of damage. Weakens. Disengages, strikes, engages, disengages, strikes. Wow. That talent is actually quite good. I take it back. Substantial upgrade for the tanks. Way more attacks of opportunity now. Let them come a little bit forward and then we can have a four-way attack. Moves to here. Hits both. Oh wow, we're dealing absurd amount of damage now. Against equal level targets. Maybe the whole trick of this game is you always need to be under leveled in order to make it a big challenge. Pull them closer. And teach them a lesson. <laughs> and teach them a lesson. Should have saved that for him because he has 40% guard. Weakening. Slash. Attack. And end of turn. Okay, the right way of dealing with those spread out maps really is to just move in, uh, to just um, have everyone stay at one uh, side. This here is getting a bit ridiculous. Encouraged. Unfortunately, not a kill, but that one is three hundred thirty points of damage. Yeah, the crits are getting. Somewhat out of hand. Yeah, right. You wanted to attack? Uh, 
Okay, well... I must admit, uh, the builds are getting quite strong towards the end game. I must commend you, mercenaries. This is remarkable work. Mercenaries! Mercenaries! You have to catch the fugitives! The rooks didn't come for me! They stole something in my mother's belongings! I saw them run towards the Magnificent. Hurry and retrieve what they took. It must... Okay, so where's... Okay, well... Well, that's the last clue we were looking for. Maybe the whole setup is you need to accuse, fail, 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 and then the game throws you a bone. Unless, of course, you already know uh, how to solve it, in which case I think you might be able to do it with in one go, in one sitting. But yeah, maybe we can fight on a boat. That would be totally cool. And I figured this, this episode is going to be a short one, but no. <clears throat> there seems to be more and more content that I just have underestimated. Go away. You're sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. Couple of wrongdoers here. So, are we having another city fight? Yep, we we do. It's one hard to get to these guys, and even harder to get to these guys. Man, for the love of it, please make smaller maps. Sprints to here, takes off his guard. Takes him again, and again. And I should use that weakening earlier. And again, and again, wow. That's a hundred to zero. From hero to zero. Yeah, I think we're just going to do the classic. Pull everyone in. Oops. I used the wrong skill. That was not clever. But luckily, we're strong enough. Could have killed all three. Yeah, I think if they are clustering up, we can even kill more next turn. All right, one down. And this guy will soon follow. There we go. <clears throat> Another kill. Starting to already move in the right direction. Tell you what, why not? Let's start this. And this.
And this. Yeah, well. There you go, one down. Now I can't reach them. But we maybe could reach these guys. Is that a reset? No. It's not. to kill these three next turn no problemo uh, I think this one here will be a good one oh, oh yeah Yeah, that AOE build isn't bad either. I'm not sure if a Harponier would have been able to do what he just did. There we go. Easy. Easy, easy. So, what is our reward? They apparently have stolen something. Which I can only guess has to do with the main storyline. Take sales contract. You have gained. Uh, you have gained a sales contract. What exactly does that mean? This contract, dated before the broker was killed, proves that uh, the Brenner Arena was sold to the Hovendorp family. Okay, so that is what we needed. We have corpses in here. Plenty. Plenty of corpses. Good. I think now I do have a more or less watertight version. What did you find? This is... We own Burner's Arena. I had no idea. Did my mother buy the arena without disclosing it to the public? Take your reward, mercenaries, and report this to the guard. I believe you have everything you need to prove who the mother is. Good. Well, now, finally, we got that. Thanks for letting me know, game. Could have saved a few crowns in the process of trying to frame the murderer beforehand. Yeah, we're going to go for experience. It's difficult enough to obtain that. 
500 XP is fantastic reward. Good. And now we're going to frame that sucker. It's quite clear who's responsible. Time to do the arena and I'm going to time to accuse him. Yes, we are indeed going to accuse you, and I think I've finally figured it out. You were accused if and now having re first in all likelihood. So he was not the one who uh, took the blow. He was at the broker's palace. We know that. So please explain to this council. He was using the rooks. See the legitimacy of your claim, mercenaries. Yes, hired them. Well, it would be possible for a large group. Every Thank you. Person. Now, I would like to know why he would have wanted our esteemed arena. Oh. How could you? You, you have no... Why this... Broker? That would... I was unaware this document existed until the rooks raided our home and took it. These mercenaries fought hard to recover it. This contract proves that Broker Burner is guilty. He's the one who told the Rooks to assassinate my mother and take the document linking him to her. Enough! Silence! Yes! I killed Willa Ald Hovendorp. Yes! I hired the Rooks to do it. She sullied our good name and ruined our family. Just like she'd done with the Armaments. I sold her my arena with the proviso that she would only announce the news after the arena clash, giving me a chance to go out on top by winning the fight. But I was never going to let her enjoy my ancestor's legacy. The rooks cost a great deal, but they got the job done. It is with great dismay that the Broker Council finds that Broker Hovendorp's killer is none other than one of her colleagues. But as the law of Gosenberg applies to all equally, we have no choice. As for you, mercenaries, the Broker Council and the city of Gosenberg thank you for solving this most despicable crime. Most despicable crime, and a long one. Wow, oh boy, that was a long one. Cool. Well. That brings us also to the end of today's episode. I think we have had a great murder mystery. It was good while, uh, while it lasted and we had a lot of fun going through it. Uh, next up on our journey will be the last of the six regions with a arguably OP party that deals a lot of damage. And since this game seems to become more and more alpha strikey in nature, uh, and then even the tanks are starting to deal a lot of damage, Don't I have to wonder. Anyways, um, that is it uh, from me. If you enjoy the new builds, uh, leave a comment uh, down below and uh, see you in the next episode. Bye bye.